Today we are going to be doing another quick weave or whatever. We're going to be using this same closure, so we ain't going to let this bother us, okay? I'm sitting here with one lash like it is like at least 12 o'clock at night right now in Cleveland, Ohio. So, it's like <laughs> I've been asleep all day, just resting, you know? I said I have to do my hair. It's Thursday. Let me get up and be ready for the weekend, if anything. Or let me at least get a video out. It's been a little while now. This is what I was not trying to do is not have a video. So we're about to get right into it. So we're going to just be using this same old lace. You see the lace is still on there. Like, and y'all know what kind of glue I use. Um, that ghost bond. It's up on these corners. Let's see if we can just lift it across. Yes. So that came right up, no edge, nothing. Because that cap, that's why I tell y'all, that cap will be the first thing to go when you sweat, okay? And the cap is attached to the hair. So when the cap goes, the hair just sweats off with it. Versus just putting that directly on your hairline without a cap. That, that's why I like the ball cap method because it's more of protection. We gotta take all these tracks off. Which everything was mainly on the cap. Like you see right there, my honey, that's a little pulley. So I just grab that down where it's pulling that. Get that track off of that pulley part. And then I just proceed to pull around. Now you know it's on the cap, so. Mm. I'm gonna do that over this whole head until I get everything off. I feel like it's all glued in. I probably could just snatch <laughs> this closure to the front like that. Ah, boom. <laughs> Easy peasy. But we are using this again, so. <clears throat> I'm just gonna wash it and straighten it and uh, that's just what it's gonna be. Now, what we're gonna hope to do, my honeys, is I bought this hair. It's a 613 Empire. And we're gonna use the same dye that we use for the front toe, right? We're gonna hope to get it to be the same color. And if not, because you know how they are with two different hair companies, right? And this hair was way lighter than my front toe, but you could not tell. So we ain't gonna let nobody know. We are going to just go ahead and wing it. We're going to do the hot water method again, and we're going to put this on in there, let it sit however, and whatever it be, my honeys, that's exactly what it be. And we are going to turn from this to, <laughs> to this look right here, my honeys, flawless. Okay, shake it. Ain't no stiff wear. Stiff wear, my honey. So, <laughs> if you want to see me achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, my honey, stop. I pulled this up. You see where it's pulling at, right? If it had been that whole part, I would've just went in there, held that down, and pulled that right off. I hold it over my hair. It's tougher back here, so I don't really care. I'll just yank it around and keep it moving. But when I'm at that edge, I hold that down. Like, if I pull on it, you see where it's pulling? I hold it down. Come on back, get closer to my track. Come on back. I keep doing that till I'm completely off that edge and all. Then I just snatch it out. You see where it's pulling? I get off in there, hold that down, talk to let. I'm never just gonna go all back cause I held that one piece. I'm gonna keep 
following along that track until I get, you know, it all the way away from that edge. And then I just gonna pull it on out. And like I said, we wasn't using no stocking cap, so <laughs> we was just doing that. And then nines out of 10, I save this whole side so I can get in there and gently pull it out. I don't wanna be just pulling out, yanking that this to the front, cause now I done took out probably some match. So I take my time over here too with them fingers. Perfect. Your hair is uh, more to break off if it's wet. This is why I don't wet it. Y'all know I had all that goodness in there, so I'm not, my hair is probably pretty flexible. This was already up, my honeys. I never touched it, so there's no hair on that track of mine. It already lifted. So another thing for me, as far as quick weaves go, my honeys, when it's time to take it out, it's time to take it out. Don't go in there trying to re-glue down tracks because that's double gluing, and guess what? Now you may be pulling some hair out. Now you may not be able to just go ahead and do it like this because it's, it's over glued. That glue will be so packed in your hair. It's going to be hard to get that out. So I'm not going to even lie. I'm trying to save this cut. <laughs> we about to put the style right back in, honey. I'm not about to wash my hair and do none of that. Okay, I'm just about to redo everything with this hair. My honeys, what I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I sent her to the store to get a 10 inch. This is an 8 inch. This probably about to be terrible because whenever you doing like a vibe, and I want a, I want a side part. So I guess now, if I would have had a side part, I would have had to have some hair hanging evenly here. That eight inch is gonna be here, here, and here because it's gonna be all the way up there. You know, and it's, it gets shorter the further you go up. I don't want that. If it can't fall all together and make a blunt cut, I don't want it. I may have to go ahead and do a metal part. Thank you, Mamaski. So that I can at least have it even. You know, however short it needs to be, so therefore it's blunt and even and not choppy looking. And I only got one pack, so it's not like Okay, I can be at and where need be. So we gotta really flex this out and make it work, okay? But we got a closure, so I was just hoping that that would have saved time and money. Like, oh okay. God. And you know, when you doing vibes, you don't go glue all the way down here anyway. So what we gonna do is start right up here on this cut, right there, and just go from there, okay? So. I'm going to put me some gots to be along here just to cover that up and um, stuff like that. But I ain't going to worry about that back. i probably spray some on there and just blow dry that out. So, therefore, you're not putting straight glue to your actual hair like that because that's pretty dangerous. You always want to put a shield over your head, which would be the uh, gel and the spritz. Now, I already got all that gel in here. All I really got to do, my honey, is throw a little brush to it, a wet brush, and brush this back up and blow dry, and it will still get hard like it will be because it's, it's really full of gel. So, pretty much, um, it's cheaper to keep. So, I don't know if y'all ever seen this like this, but this is what I'm doing, okay? I literally only had that style in for a week and a half, so ain't nothing wrong with this foundation to just go ahead and do a whole nother style over. So, that's just how I be uh, doing my hair to keep my goodness in there. I got so much goodness in there. If I didn't have this cap on, I would have went back through there with my uh, oil. I would have went back through there with my oils and uh, made sure I got all of that in there, massage it through, and put some more gel and kept it moving and did a whole nother two week style. Like. But if you looking at hair nowadays, $20 is cheap to buy some hair, okay? This little empire hair is commercial hair. It's not nothing exclusive. It ain't no bundles. Like, I'm not going to go purchase no bundles just to cut it up. I'm sorry. I don't care. And that could be me because I do hair. You know, if I feel like this has gotten nappy in a couple days, I'm going to probably take it out and do something else. So, 
Um, yeah, I just don't, I don't waste money like that. But I also don't waste money and just take my hair out the next day either. So it's gonna get fixed. And if it gets, if this is the type of hair that gets snappy fast, yeah. which Empire is not a bad hair, I like Empire. But if it was a hair that got nappy fast or something like that, guess what? I would go ahead and curl it up. I'd have a curly bob by the end of the week because it's like this hair ain't gonna work straight and I'm not trying to walk around with no stiff bob. So by the time it would start messing up, I'll just curl it up and that's still a whole nother two weeks. But hair like this, I throw that right away, my honeys, because it, it is what it is and it is what it ain't. It just ain't gonna work for anything else. I will save the hair that was left that I did not use, I sure do, because I may go back to that, um, adding it with some other hair or whatever. I am gonna keep this front, so, and hopefully, my honeys, we can make this work because you see, I cut them sides short. That's the only tricky part, but the other only tricky part is that the top has length so we're going to be parting it down the middle and trying to you know and you know me i'm gonna go in with that straightening comb i'm gonna go in with some moves i'm gonna go in with some sprints i'm gonna go in with whatever i need to make sure it's nice and sleek and ain't no short pieces hanging up but people who be having that leave out and their hair is not that long they leave out be like this long it bling they make it bling right so that's what we're about to do to that say this so what we gonna do is I'm gonna go fill this bowl up with some water and then uh, I guess I'll show you guys even though I just did it. Perfect. Okay, my honey, so clearly this is a whole nother day. <laughs> and this hair came out blue. It's like a, the grandma gray blue. So the frontal was gray and I went out and bought. This is powder blue. Powder door. I was just trying to think like, okay, I already got a front, a gray front toe. What could I do to just make it this color? Cause I love it. Even though I could have did something to make this gray, but I just came out of gray. I love gray, but I like this better. So I dipped that uh, front of the closure rather into some water. 
This is how much water I use. With literally a, a 50 cent piece size of this. Like about that much. I did that in hot water, stirred it in there, and then I dumped this in there. Now this still has gray areas throughout it. Boom, so you remember we had all this going on here. I did not take anything off, out, nothing. But I wanted to save my cap because I didn't want to have to go through doing all this extra drying again and all of that. All I care about, I'm doing the middle part, remember? This time, so. I just want to get me some cap down in that middle so when I go to put down my lace glue, it's not anywhere on my hair. So the best way to do this, for me, probably will be to And you know, that's got to be the black one, but it takes so long to dry my hair. I hate it. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, not even thinking of putting that spray on there. I want something that's going to last, that's to be durable. Now for this back, I was going to pull this down. really just start gluing where that cap starts at. I'm not even worried about gluing the track down all the way by the neck part. So technically, I will really just spritz that area where I'm going to start laying them glues. Like, for real, legit, my honey, all you got to do, if you know, you don't want to go through all this. It's just put another cap on. <laughs> Don't be lazy like me. Okay. This is that lazy girl sledge. Because I don't really be trying to go in there redoing everything. My hair is nice and clean. It was some hairs that I pulled through the actual closure with the tube brush. You see them little hair sticking out the closure? So basically, we don't let them bother us. I just gonna cut them on out. But you don't want them in your way when you gonna glue it down either. So I straighten the comb, everything back. Get it right on the bottom of my way. Now I'm about to spray my little lace tinner on there. You see how it looks in there now? It's very transparent. Once I spray this stuff on there, it's gonna be brown. <laughs> I want to measure it out so I know exactly. Look at the roots now. Like a brown, like my color. <laughs> Not the actual roots, but it's the lace. I want that part in the middle, so.
Perfect. Perfect. And as you should already know by now, those are my head strips. I call them edge strips. And they are guaranteed to lay and slay those edges, my honeys. And it's good for when you put it on your edge and you go to lift it off. And then all you know is your edge is lifting up with the uh, scarf. <laughs> this does not give you that problem. It makes your edges lay very flat. And also, you have to make sure they're very dry. If they're not dry, then that's where it becomes a problem. Okay, amen, honey. This is one pack of hair. Eight inch. <laughs> I always keep it real with my honey.
Perfect. I got this mirror, my honeys, for my local hair supply store, and it was $8. So, what I'm going to try to do is just find it on Amazon so I can link it down below in the description box. So, therefore, you can go and find it and everything else that we use on this channel and that matter on Amazon at my Amazon store. Okay, the link is just down below in the description, but it came in handy for me to hit that back. Y'all know how I always be saying, I ain't got no mirror. <laughs> So I finally, finally invested in one and this is a big one. Like I love it. And it's for, of course, when my clients get done, I could just give them the mirror so they could see their little sledge or whatnot. But it also came in handy for me. And you see, I got that <laughs> cut to the T. And the more I had cut on it, my honey, the thicker it appeared, even though it's only one pack of hair. So yes, we can use one pack and achieve the look that we want, period. And you already know, my honeys, if you're going to do it, then you got to do it right, okay? I think it came out gorgeous, but not until this point, okay? <laughs> when I brought those colors out, my honeys, I just fell in love with it. It was the one pack of hair, and I really was not, like, feeling it. But, I mean, you don't really need that much hair to get a successful style. If you have not already, my honeys, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you want to know if anything I used in this video, which is definitely in our Amazon store down below. And please shop at kaleshairsandbeauty.com, my honeys. And at this point in the video... I will see my honeys on the next one, uh, 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 the next one, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bye guys, love you guys. Mm -hmm.